Tonight, oil giant BP says it will offer additional help to gas station owners, operators, and suppliers struggling because of the Gulf oil spill boycotts. Suppliers tell NBC Action News in the last two weeks, many local BP gas station owners have begun to see a steep decline in sales. Amy Holly is live with tonight's top story. Hi, Amy. Hi, Elizabeth. The gasoline supplier that we talked to today says if you've decided to drive past the tanks at BP, your local BP, and go down the street to another gas station, you're really only fueling a problem for your local community. But today's announcement by BP may suggest otherwise. Leon has been a faithful customer of British Petroleum gas stations. In fact, he has a BP card. Since 86. So when we saw him filling up at this station down the street instead, we asked him why. I'm not going to be putting my dollars into something to help them get out of a jam. Leon is a part of a growing group of people who have decided to silently protest against BP from famous musicians to hundreds of thousands of people on this Facebook page to apparently a lot of people right here in the metro. Look at Mike Patel's BP station right off of Shawnee Mission Parkway close to 435. Very few people pulled in this afternoon when we were there. He's seen at least a 20% decline in sales. He says if customers know him. We've held it pretty steady because they've gotten to know us well and uh, but like the incoming traffic just people from out of town you know they're we have seen about a 10 to 20 percent difference. Which is why he didn't see Leon today visiting from out of town and likely the reason why the Phillips station he was at says in the last couple of weeks it sold 1,500 more gallons of gasoline a day. Today they said they had to make the unusual move of raising prices beyond the more expensive BP just to slow down demand. But suppliers say the boycott is only hurting local people, not BP. That tank of gasoline or diesel that you know you would purchase out there BP is going to sell it somewhere else they have so much supply and they will always find a demand to take that product Leon doesn't buy it since I don't use BP they're not getting as much money now, Carter Energy told us today, since 2002, PP has not owned the local market. It will be very good information for people to know this. Local stations are owned by local people, which makes Kansas City unique. The boycotts are getting BP's attention, though. So many stations across the country have lost so much money. The oil giant is floating a financial lifeline, and they're setting aside 50 to $70 million now in subsidies for lost sales at stations like this one. In Kansas City, Amy Holly, NBC Action News.